I used to use a plugin called WP Policies to create a privacy policy, terms of use, disclaimer, and so on. But unfortunately, that plugin has been discontinued. As you can see, if you go over to WordPress Plugins directory and have a look, it's not there anymore. I've searched for WP Policies. So I want to show you a good alternative. And let's go over to Plugins, Add New. And the plugin I want to look for is called WP Insert. And it's this first one here. So let's install it. Now this plugin does a lot more than just create those pages for us. It, it also is a great ad handler for your website as well. So it can do double duty. Let's have a look down here. Right, WP Insert. Okay. And we've got a new menu item down here. I'm just going to click on that so I can bring this menu into the sidebar. And what we want to go down to is set up legal pages. You see also can do tracking code. All right. Now, the, the legal pages it can do is privacy policy, terms and conditions, disclaimer, and a copyright if you want to. And the copyright has an old date in there. And what it will do is it will insert your site name um, where this the placeholder is. And this placeholder you can see is found in all of these policies. Now you can of course change these policies to suit your site better if you wish, but I'm going to just leave them as they are for now. What you need to do is you need to create a blank page for for privacy, terms, disclaimer, and copyright if you want to use those. So I'm going to open that in a new tab. And I'm going to create a new page. I'm going to call privacy. I'm going to publish that. I'm going to create another new page. Called terms. And I'm just leaving these blank. And another one. Which we'll call disclaimer. Now you don't have to use the disc the copyright page if you want to. I'm not going to use it, so I'm going to leave that one as it is. And then all we need to do, I'm just going to refresh this page, is go over to the this is the privacy policy assign page, and I need to assign the page ID. Now the page ID is let's go over to the all pages here. The page ID for my privacy is, if I mouse over and look down at the bottom left, you can see the URL of that page and it says post equals 115. So the ID is 115. However, you don't need to remember that and you don't need to go back and look at that. All you need to do is click on this little arrow and then select the page, the plus there. Click on OK and go down to Terms. Click the plus next to that. And what's the last one? Disclaimer. Click on OK. Right, that's all those. Let's just click on Save Changes. And if we go over to the pages now, let's have a look. Remember, these were left blank. Let's open. Oops. Um, view. Let's open the view in the new tab. Privacy. Open that in a new tab. And terms. I'll open that in a new tab. So the disclaimer. There you've got your disclaimer now. Privacy. You've got your privacy. And terms. You've got your terms. One thing to be aware of is that the privacy does have a link out. And it links to the WP Insert website where there's more information on privacy, what a privacy policy is. You can delete that if you want to. And you do that um, up here in the privacy, you can just edit that and remove the link. You've got a what you see is what you get editor up here. So that is what I'm now using for my sites.